If you've ever played Minecraft for any length of time, you've undoubtedly come across the concept of creating logic circuits with redstone ore. Some folks have gone to great lengths to create in-game binary adders and beyond that, primitive but functional computers. This is of course first done by creating what are called logic gates. A logic gate is an assembly of transistors or electrically controlled switches which results in a logically controlled flow of electricity, or more generally, of the flow of information. A modern electrical computer relies on millions of logic gates to perform arithmetic functions on large binary numbers, as well as other CPU functions, including writing to and retrieving data from memory. Just like within Minecraft, I wanted to know if we could build logic gates with our favorite 20-year-old shoot-'em-up. If you've ever spent some time designing Half-Life or Counter-Strike maps, you'd know there aren't really too many logical triggers you can utilize. However, there are plenty of switches, relays, and output targets at your disposal. Long story short, I did it. First we have a basic switch. I used a laser beam to signify the on status of a circuit. When the switch is on, the laser is on. When the switch is off, the laser is off. The first logic gate is called the NOT gate, which simply inverts the digital signal. Switch is on, the laser is instead off, and vice versa. All other gates require two or more inputs for their functionality. As we see in the AND gate, output requires switch 1 and switch 2 to be on. Its inverse is called the NAND gate, or NOT AND. Output is always present except for when both switch 1 and switch 2 are on. Up next is the OR gate. As its name implies, either the first or the second switch, or both, need to be active. The NOR gate, or NOT OR, is the OR gate's inverse. The output is only active when both switches are off. The last pair of gates are the exclusive OR and exclusive NOR. The exclusive OR functions like the OR gate, where output is present if either the first or the second switch is on, but not present if both are enabled. It is exclusively one or the other. The inverse is the exclusive NOR. Output is active if the switches are either both on or both off, but not active if only one switch is on. Now keep in mind the base Half-Life engine has a built-in entity limit, and each gate uses a combination of entities. But it makes you wonder, how sophisticated could computing get within a map? What sort of things could you create? I'll leave you with a clip of a randomized slot machine made by Holograph. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel so you can check out some of his other gadgets. Well that's all for now, remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for updates. Thanks for watching. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead.